Welcome back to the juice. Bang. We're recording? Yeah. We're rolling? <clears throat> Take it to yourself. Show your lovely face. Is it 31? It's on you. Zach Vance, the one and only. All right, come back to me. You don't get the voice. No, no, no voice from Zach. Is it back to me now? Us, I mean. Oh, I can talk now? Yeah, you can talk. <laughs> Permission granted. We're On us? We're good. Tell me who you know doing things like the lemon boys do it on the way to the top. This is elevator music matter fact. Spike Ball's full of a bunch of losers. I'ma put it in reverse like a knocky cocky. Never be killing these brothers softly. I had one blue moon, but I think I drank it on the way here. What? Y'all be driving stick shift. This is auto. You know I'll turn it up. I wanna be up to beat. You gotta see us. Hey guys, it's Kyle Keenan. Keenan is key. Key Finaki is gonna be playing with. Honestly, with the Discord, dude, I honestly just thought it was like it was a bit of a bitch ass move. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Spike Lemonade Podcast, episode 31, where we uh, squeeze out all the juice, leave no stone unturned. I'm your host, Josh DiDonato, here with... The one and only Matt Spo. Behind the camera, Mr. Zach. <laughs> Mr. Zachary Scott. Finally back after his long European trip. Yeah, it was long, but it was a good time. So I love it. Well, maybe after we do uh, a couple lemon run-throughs, maybe we have Zach sit down. He could talk a little bit about Europe. But the European trip? I think that'd be pretty Let's cool because the Europe Let's trip was actually pretty Let's badass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something quick. You could do yeah. that, right? You done with yeah. that? So okay. what we're doing is meet the lemons, meet the lads today. We're going to go through just a few of our guys, the ones that were able to show up, talk to them, what's new, what's new and improved, and just basically go through it. Yeah, and, and if you have already met them, we'll just talk about like what's been going on the past month or so heading into Chattanooga season, that kind of stuff. So we have a few people um, to bring on and highlight. Starting with our very own, Michael Garrett. Woo! Come on in. Come on. It's like a talent show. Yep. You feel like a first grader back in a talent show? Is your never, mic right there in front of you? I never went one? to the talent show. Handheld this time? Hello. Welcome back, bro. How's he sound, Zach? Huh? How's he sound? How, how do I sound? Good. Nice. Sweet. Um, so MG's here. What's the last episode you were on? The one at Kyle's house? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was. Where we talked about the team announcement? Yes, Open Lanes. Open Lanes team announcement. Um, what's happened with you, I guess, in the past like six weeks, RoundNet related? Any Anything cool? Uh, past six weeks, RoundNet related. Uh, ran a couple tourneys, one with Josh, one with Matt, and podiums in both of them, which is cool. Ooh. So me and Matt podiumed at the njr march madness, madness. mayhem march, march mayhem, mayhem dude we no got, copy uh, right here third place lost in semis to gen z gabe and connor but then a uh, beat hucko and shaitar for the third place spot and then me and josh this past weekend traveled up to connecticut for the ers uh yukon first tour stop of the ers series and then we uh lost in finals to sunny goo and Joey Mikan, I think his last name is. But then, uh, yeah, so second place finish for uh, Open Lanes kind of season opener because we were different team name the last tournament. So Yeah, and well, we were in Baltimore, though. Oh, that's true. Open Lanes was in Baltimore. <laughs> it was so rainy. You just forgot about that one? Yeah, that one was a washout. Yeah. Oh, I see what you guys did there. Yeah. Great. Um, Stick to potting. So you have <laughs> you have hit two podiums in a row. Well, I guess if you, now I'm remembering Baltimore. So. That's still two in a row with March Mayhem come after, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're two <laughs> podiums in a row. Um, do you think that you'll get back on a podium in the next month? Statistically, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like an honest answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome. Honest man, honest man. That's awesome. Um, that's you no, know, that's an awesome recap. Um, Let's dive into Mike though. Like, so yeah. We, sure. Spike ball aside, Mike, what do you like to do? Like in your free time. Free time. I like Sit to, down at home alone. If start I have, a fire. If I have like crack open a puzzle. <laughs> if I have no responsibilities, I'm yeah. reading. 
You're reading. Yes. What is your? Who's As, your assume, favorite author? That is not Cap. <laughs> Assuming I've already been to the gym, I'm reading. Who's your favorite author? Favorite author, Brandon Sanderson. Behind him, definitely Pierce Brown. There you go. There you go. Um, a little bit. Was that? Was yeah, that, fact that check. What, what, what name? Said. Name was, two books. Who was the first? Who was the first guy you said? Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson. What's your favorite Sanderson book? Uh, probably Stormlight Archives, which is like a wow. the 10-book series he's making, but right I've now he's like four books in. I've Mike may not it. look it, but he is a nerd. And then uh, Putting Everybody On, read Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I tell everybody I know to read it. <laughs> is actually. it a multiple-part series or yes, is it just one book? six books. The seventh book is coming out, is hopefully, in 2025. Dang, do you think there's any chance it could be made into a movie? They're actually, right now, He does. people are, like, it's going to be a TV show. Oh, wait. You're watching it? Timeline undefined for that. So gym, but you're a gym guy as well. You do gym, Somebody reading. say gym rat. Yes. Yeah? Well, gym rat. Less of a gym rat now, but I still try. So like uh, normal people listen to music when they're at the gym. Do you read books while you're at the gym? I listen to music. Audiobooks? Or I listen to a podcast, but I listen mm. to music usually. What's your, favorite, podcast? what's your favorite podcast to listen to at the gym? Um, Podcast. Recently, listening to actually a lot of apologist podcasts, like about Christianity, because I'm a Christian. So, but like the past like month or so, it's been just music. I tried podcasts at the gym. I just when you're on the treadmill and it just gets a little slow, it's tough. I need something to like, kind of keep me. No, on the tra- if I'm running, absolutely, absolutely music. Yeah. Are you? Uh, what kind of headphones do you do? Do you use have a cord? Are they AirPods? Are they the ones that wrap over your head? Air- AirPods. 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 It's been AirPods since like a sophomore in high school, I think. Gotcha. I recently lost my AirPods. Do you happen to have an extra set? Do you have my AirPods? I do have an extra set, but my dad uses them. Uh, but they're, are they mine? No, they're not yours. Whoa, okay. no. <laughs> he stole my AirPods. <laughs> he stole my AirPods That's and crazy. gave them to his dad. That's wild. Mike, do you have any questions for us? Yeah. Um. So when's the next tourney that the, the podcast brothers are going to watch? Because didn't Josh drop out last time you guys were scheduled to play together? Well, watch or play? Yeah, watch or play. Wait, watch or play? Play. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I... I fucked up my knee playing in that soggy pit that we call Robbinsville. We yes. we call home for some reason, and then we weren't able to play. And then NJR tourneys this season. He's running with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Spike Bowl Tour Series tournaments. You had to he's go all the way down the to snake. here in Rose to get to NJR tournaments. I don't want to hear anything about that. He's my pal. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> cherry picking over here. Well, how you figure cherry picking? You Pick- can't you can't cherry pick if you get around to. What was it? <laughs> oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's cherry picking? Literally, okay. you okay. you wrote the script <laughs> on it. You played with Gabe bro. like four months ago. Low hanging fruit. This guy. Christmas classic. <laughs> good good one. Pull the stats. Pull the stats. Um, oh, okay. Anyway. Yeah. All right, Mike. We've had enough of you. So Thank you for jumping on. Yeah. We're doing a quick little lemon recaps here. Nothing too serious. Thanks for going, and uh, we'll get you on here right. again ASAP. I will depart. See ya. And next, this one, you know, this one will be nice and easy and mild and monotone, slightly boring. Bring <laughs> <No>. him on, <laughs> <laughs> the one and only Jacob Jake Mott. Motters. Jake Mott. All right, hello, Jake. Hey, <laughs> this should be great. Jake, talk to me about the last uh, couple weeks round net related. You've played in one tournament. It was Baltimore, two. two? You yeah. played in played Mayhem. Played Mayhem. I'm sorry, Baltimore. I want to talk Baltimore specifically because I feel like Rain Ball, which is basically no spin ball and defense ball, is going to work in your wheelhouse. And I thought that you would have gotten past the round of 16. Well, Rain Ball went away once the bracket started. It stopped being that after pool play. You think? Yeah, it was pretty dry after that. Wouldn't you say, Matt? I would say so. I started cut, I started cutting a little bit more. Yeah. Around the round of it like didn't 32. Feel wet when we were playing. Yeah. What? Yeah, actually, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. It was still a little wet, but it wasn't. I was I yeah. was I was starting to generate spin yeah. around the round of thirty two, yeah. and you know when yeah. I, if I can generate some spin, that other people can definitely serve. <laughs> they My they don't generate <laughs> yeah, yeah, so just the revolution count is just different. But uh, okay, then we go to March Mayhem. Do you want to actually? You have anything else you want to say about Baltimore? You got to play Gross and Matt Cole, and then you got to play Fernandez, and who was he with? Uh, Lucas Pruitt. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They Solid were team. good teams. Very scrappy. We just didn't put enough sort of pressure on. And those were both pool pool play matches, or one was your round of 16? Round of 16. Round of 16 was against uh, Lucas and Tyler. Did that go three? I didn't. I don't remember. No. We we should have taken game one. We I think we were up a couple breaks, and then we just like let it slip away, and then it'll lose in an extra as game one. Yeah. 
We fumbled a little bit. Gotcha. But do you think a winnable series, like overall, oh, looking totally. back on it, even though it was two? I think we played them 10 times. I think it'd go 50%. 50, you go least, five and yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Um, March Mayhem, you played with the, another Lemon lad who's not here, Jason Davis. Yeah. Another scrappy <laughs> defensive team. What was your takeaway, you know, from that tournament? That oh, was a lot of fun. That's like what I was going into, just having a good time. Uh, Jay and I lost uh, Hutko and Shaytar in the round of eight. And it was a pretty competitive series, actually. Like, we had a lot of, good, a lot of fun, and Jay got to have some good looks against a pro level player. Yeah. True. How would you say Jay played in that uh, he Hutko, really well. Hutko Shaytar series? He played really well. I All think, series, he played really well? Yeah, pretty much. He stayed out of his head, which was my main goal for him. And then the only thing I'd say is that he just hasn't seen, like, those high level serves yet enough. Yeah, that's fair. They, the word on the street was that you were you were messing with Shaytar, and then you started acing him rap like <laughs> over and over again. Uh, H- Hucko told me that you got in Shaytar's head. Yeah, much. I thought so. I was Run actually free. pretty loud, which is which not is unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Jay brought that out of you that that something, or maybe playing against Shaytar because um, we know him a little bit. Who the hell knows? You were red free <laughs> in the little guy's head, huh? Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's let's go non like you transitioned last time with Mike. Let's go non spike ball related. We're going so we're going to St. Thomas soon, mm-hmm. and you were you know one of the people that you know continued to push and push to make sure that we went because there's now 12 of us. There's a lot of schedules to juggle. It's hard. It's hard to pick a date. Um, so you were really pushing for it. Why why is that trip important to you? Uh, I mean, besides the obvious. Being super nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's like my one, like, non tournament travel vacation in a way. Yeah. And, like, it was so great last time. It was like, there was no way I didn't want to not go again, especially when we didn't get to go last year. Yeah. Absolutely. We can, that was also scheduling shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which made it tough. Yeah. Uh, so, my dad, my, my dad, my brother did secure us a field. So, we have uh, access to us. Uh, it's normal grass, so it's not turf. So, we have a place to play uh, during the day, which is cool. Is there, um, is there a set down there? You got to bring a set. Uh, there is a set down there, but I think one of the rims is busted. So, we may buy, maybe buy a set, have it shipped down there. So, we have it. So, we we're thinking maybe like, um, spike every day maybe for like an hour or two on grass to start our day. It's like five minutes from where we're going to be. And then people who want to spike, cool. If not, no problem. You just chill. We'll go back to the condo, do lunch, and then we do our day stuff, whether it's, you know, island hopping or we're going to go, you know, to a bar, or just go chill on the beach. Obviously, we can bring the set and play more. Um, how do you feel about that sort of general consensus? Sounds awesome. Normal yeah, people get up in the morning and go on like a nice morning run. Yeah. What we- do we do? Break that out. Come yeah. on. So we can. So we can then people maybe have to consider bringing their cleats because we will have grass. Yeah. Not a, not mandatory, but if if it's there, we might as well freaking use it. You know what I mean? I'm bringing my cleats. Yeah, I was going to say, people are bringing cleats. Yeah, they're going to bring our cleats. He made the mistake of not wearing shoes playing basketball last no. time. Yeah. You yeah. should have seen his feet. Me. It was like out of a horror story. His skin was peeling off like a potato. <laughs> that was bad. Better than yeah. wearing slides like I did in Florida. My wrist still hurts. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Zach. I would have rather have worn slides. Because then we played spike ball on the beach. A raw Ooh. feet. And I couldn't move. Yeah. It was terrible. That's and nice. I, I actually really enjoy beach spike, but I feel like this group doesn't like it. Most of the lemons don't like it. I like it. You like it? Well, maybe it's just Ryan and Mike. They're always just like, this is lame. The two more because immobile players don't like it? <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to like, <laughs> just throw it Mike's out there. Mike's over there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. That's awesome. So we'll be in St. Thomas, little uh, spoiler, we'll be in St. Thomas the first weekend, first weekend? One of the first few weekends second. of May. Second weekend, yes. second full weekend of May. Uh, we'll be there for five days, some people coming for a couple in between, um, so there'll be a lot of cool content there. If we do, if the Connecticut vlog comes out good, it's a St. Thomas vlog would be unbelievable. Like, you think if, it's like, not going to come out good? Not that you wouldn't do a good job, but if it's actually like, comes out. the first couple are going to be okay, and then we're going to get used to the camera. Yeah, I think that's what it is. We got to get used to the camera. Are Fair. we still waiting on Orlando? This Connecticut one's probably next year. No, no, no. The Orlando <laughs> is different. That's a highlight video. UConn's a vlog. They'll be nice and easy editing. No, no, we took some videos in Orlando. We did do that. Not enough to do much. So then it's still not done. You have some? We can make a reel out of that. That'll be easy. But yeah. they, the the highlight video is taking a lot. Already. I'll double check. All right. <clears throat> All right, Jacob. 
this was actually one of your better, better, yeah. uh, better. You, you looked comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you were That's actually weird. killing it. What the hell? It's strange. Zach, you got any questions for Jake? Yeah, you got anything for Jake? Nothing I can ask him in public. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. All right. Well, Jake, uh, thank you for hopping on. We'll get you on here again. We have to do our, uh, our, um, podcast episode in the caribbean we you know we're one for one there we got to go do that again that was where we got to talk about was that smoke and mirrors after we had already played or before we had played honestly i don't remember what, was I don't that. what st I don't thomas the first either. time yeah it was afterward because then you guys do your very first pod recap of, of it Richmond yeah yeah in st thomas yes you're I think i remember right. is charlie being in the podcast. Charlie, yeah. <laughs> Charlie, I remember one of my cousins, he watched the pod. Um, my cousin Matt, and he was just like, You gotta have Charlie on the podcast more. He was great. <laughs> I was like, he's not even part of the group. Like, who is this guy? Yeah. But all right. Who's coming up here next, Jacob? Thank you, bro. Yep. Appreciate no it. Problem. Nothing but B? awesome. BT Bakes. BT right. Bakes, the one and only. Um, we'll bring on wait. Is this your inaugural time on the pod? <laughs> no. Wait, has B? Has B been on here? Uh, his voice has been on here. His cooking beeping has been on in the background. Friendsgiving. Yeah. Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. Okay. We got to always go back to Friendsgiving. Lemonsgiving. Yeah. Ladsgiving? You smell unbelievable. Thanks. What are you wearing? Gucci? <laughs> you smell <laughs> some kind of unbelievable um, cologne. You smell great, Calvin bro. Klein, Can I get a whiff? Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Can I get a whiff? No. Oh, my bad. So we have here none other than give, give the people an introduction, uh, bro, who, who you are, where you live in, what you do um, with your life, and then we'll get around to the Social spike, security so. number, credit card number. Yeah. Um, I'm Brandon Timonair. Um, I just moved down to Philly. I used to live with Kyle, another lemon over here. Um, I do graphic design as a full-time career living. Um What's a more I recent? Bake. I bake. He is. Uh, he's, yep. he yeah, I'm a bake. baker. He's a baker I bake, as well. I cook. Oh, you cook. Pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. You cook. I do everything. How Speaking old are you, bro? Speaking of cooking and graphic design, sorry. Go What's on. a more recent project that you've worked on and cooked on, graphic design wise? Um, I do a lot of like restaurant menus, anything, um, mom and pop shops, logos, stuff like that. Um, Recently, I got a new lighting setup, so I've been trying to do like food photography. Oh, that's sick. Ooh. Cooking stuff and then taking photos of it. But still cool. working out the logistics and everything. But that's awesome. It's a cool little setup I have. That's sick. I'd actually like some some of the banana bread you had. If you could cook the banana bread and it's got like that like moist exterior, Probably. and then you slice a few slices, put them down so they're kind of stacked up yeah. with the. F that's just. <laughs> all, all I can think about <laughs> is that video. You got banana bread at work today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I brought oh, bad you did? Yeah, I, brought I still remember you were the first person ever that made banana bread that was like under the age of 35 that made banana bread that was like unbelievable like yeah. you know everyone bring you like your old aunt and uncle or grandpa grandma brings banana bread to like family mm -hmm. functions it's never like your 20 year old friend who just yeah, yeah. brings like yeah. slapping banana bread <gasps> no yeah I, uncle I've b been, uncle b right cooking, there i've been cooking <laughs> bacon since since before you could, yeah. yeah, yeah, my mom always had me in the kitchen. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So Brandon here um, was one of the original four who started uh, our Lemon Lads group in Philly. Um, how long have you been spiking, bro? We got to take a little extra time with you. Um, I think my junior year of high school. What was that? Oh, God. Whoa. Four years ago, uh, roughly six ish. Okay. Around six Five years? Ish, six ish years ago. I remember I saw Spike. I saw people playing it. I thought it was the stupidest thing. And then <laughs> one time in my senior year, my good friend Max brought us to play on like a rookie set. And ever since we started, we just like. You just kept playing. Just kept playing, yeah. That's awesome. Dude, I, I still remember seeing you for the first time. You showed up, Ryan, uh, Jake, and I were at Lemon Hill Park, and you showed up, mm -hmm. and you kind of had this little strut to you, and I was like, dude, this kid's going to suck. <laughs> I was like, this is so going to be a waste of time. And then you just showed up and just started, like, his kills have always been good. His sets have always been buttery. You're the first person I ever saw do, like, that little wristy waggle before you kill in different directions. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, he's legit. I mean, I was kind of hoping the same thing. I was I was kind of thinking, like, oh, these guys aren't going to be good. Yeah. Like, I was just looking for good competition Yeah. at that point. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, you got something, bro? Oh. Just hold the mic little, up give me a little, uh, a little bit better. 
Yeah, I got yeah, you. there you go. Um, can you hear me, Zach? Yep. Cool. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Uh, so, talk a little bit about Premiere. You got Premiere in yeah. 2023 in Connecticut, yeah. playing with the likes of Cooper Pennell. There you go. <laughs> he remembered that. He totally remembered yeah. that. It was like our first time meeting each other. No, it wasn't. It was our second time meeting each other. The year before, um, I'm really good friends with the former Rutgers University round net president. Okay. Um, and I used to go over there all the time to play. And Cooper's from Lafayette. Yes. And they had like a scrimmage. Or it was a tournament, I think. And I like met him in the finals or semis. And whatever, I just thought like, oh, this is a, like a schmuck, whatever. <laughs> and then... Uh, it's a sh- this is a shock. Like a, like a few days, yeah, and then and that that was it. Like I think I think he won, and that was it. Was it an individual tourney, or you're meaning like his team won? His team won. Okay. Yeah, and then whoever that was it. I haven't talked to him since. And then <laughs> a few days before Connecticut, or maybe a week or so, he hit up the NJR Discord. <laughs> no way. That's how you got him as a partner. Yeah, he was like looking for a premier, looking for a high contender partner, and I, I had a partner at the time. You're kidding. And yeah. Did anybody yeah. else left, know this? You left a partner. You know this? Left Cooper. Yeah. yeah. Who was your you partner at the time? Can you, yeah. can it was, you um, divulge? <sighs> I forgot his name. Can I drop? Yeah, I don't name drop. Fuck it. Andrew <laughs> Sullivan? I, I honestly don't. I Andrew mean, Sullivan no, isn't like. Must have been a different Andrew Sullivan. Yeah, isn't so, that like the be- one of the better players in, probably not them. in Michigan? So Maxwell Reisman. I used to play with him mm-hmm. up in North Jersey. It was his good friend. He set okay. me up. Got you. So then essentially was your... It was like a blind date. Yeah. I didn't even met him. I didn't even meet him. But then you saw the post. You knew Cooper was at least competent. Yeah. And he's good friends with Ryan Park. And I think I think I reached out to Jake. He said that he's solid. So how yeah, did I was you tell say. this kid that you were playing with? Hey, yeah, did you tell him you so, couldn't go? So like, so he, <laughs> si- he signed us up Not on feeling Fuengo, good, bro. Right? He signed us up on Fuengo. And then Cooper said the Discord, like looking for a high contender. I'm like, fuck. This is probably... This could be a good chance. This is a good chance, you know? So I look on the Fuango, and my team for with Andrew isn't there. So I'm like, oh, he didn't pay yet. I'm just going to do whatever. So I text him, like, yo, I'm running with this dude. Like, it's a good thing you didn't pay yet. So wow. I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then apparently he said he did pay. <gasps> so I was like, dude, But your team wasn't on the list, so yeah. he couldn't have paid. Yeah. He was just trying to... Hmm. Does he yeah. still spike? Then he saw you on the podium, and he literally was just like, "There's no oh, way." Quite, yeah, he was he was pissed. He was pissed, and then he like double texted me, triple texted me, and I was just like, "I'm not even responding to." This him. is this is all true. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, just I'll lying. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It's yeah. either great cap, it, yeah, or no. so true. No, it's true. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. uh, well, well, here's you're ruthless. Huh? What was he saying in these texts? Uh, I'll, I'll dig it. Maybe I'll see if I can dig it up later. Oh my god! He's basically Dude, saying man. like, "Oh, Ruthless. there's a lot of good money up in high contender. Like, go play with your partner, or whatever." I was like, <laughs> "Dude, I'm not, I wasn't even responding to him. Like, it's not worth my time, dude." Like, yeah, it's so yeah. funny. I was like, "Whatever." And then me and Cooper, won't, like, we got we got second. Can I get worth from here? Worth. Yeah, worth Definitely those worth texts. Yeah, that's so funny. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, you bake. You spike, you cook, you, you double cross, you graphic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah, yeah. No, but uh, hey, you made a good business decision. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Then you went and you dominated. I mean, at that I, point, it was. Can it was, I tell you something being very transparent? Yeah, go for it. I think you would have got premiere that day, even with, uh, what was his name? Sebastian? What was his name? Sebastian. <laughs> Sullivan. Sebastian. Sullivan. Yeah. I, you, the way you played that day, you would have got Sebastian. Damn, you would have got premiere with Ari. You were going mean, to You were gonna win that <laughs> week. I mean, the comp wasn't. The comp wasn't the you know, best, you know. but you you did what you had to do and yeah, you crushed yeah. pretty much everybody. Yeah, yeah. It was a cakewalk. That was actually Honestly, really cool. was, The other cake side cake of the walk. bracket was really competitive. Yeah, um, you Andrew, had an easy Andrew, route. Our, uh, fucking Jay and, and Ant yeah. ran into two ex Premier players that were just yeah. like, we just want to play Contender today. Cool. And they were both like, this is sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but who'd they play? I could pull up the Flango and show you. I don't know their names. Guys like, that I were think probably Mikey, like. Mikey played. Mikey uh, Joel's boy, I think. Mikey Kobe, Kobe Bianco. No, they played Premier last year. No. <coughs> oh, oh, he yeah, dropped down did. to contender and played with someone that in that tournament. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. My boy is He did. He did. It. Yeah. That's a little nice. bit of weird poaching. A yeah. little bit of weird poaching, but all right. Well, we have everybody to get through. 
you have I still want to bring you on to talk. Obviously, yeah. Wait, St. Thomas, minimum day or two, maximum three or four. It's like it's like an eighty percent right now. Eighty percent of like you landing on the island, yeah. essentially. Good odds. Yeah. Good odds. Yeah. Okay. It's really okay. Good odds. All make right. sure everything with work is every, every Yeah, make sure everything with work is good. Um, we're going to get the next guy on here, but I actually like to do a full episode with you, bro, because there's more than meets the eye with Brandon Timonier. Oh, 100%. I'm waiting. Oh. I'm waiting. It's on them. If you don't well, see me, it's on them. I'm, yeah. I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah. Next time we're at Kyle's, we, we need more of these episodes because obviously we're now Kyle has a new spot. New studio. Yeah, if new you guys studio. haven't noticed, yeah. this is a new yeah. studio. It's, it's cozier, though. Yeah, I like it. I don't hate the couch pod. We can get it set up, too, with arms and stuff, too, so we don't have to hold the mics. Yeah. And it's just kind of right here in front of us. It could be sick. It would be sick. So we'll get you on here, bro. Thank you very much, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, BTB. Yep. Until next time, Thanks, bro. Ed. Thank you. I feel like we're like Jimmy Fallon hosts. It's like, all right, yeah, are we? This has been celebrity number four, and now next. Are we going to cut, like, in between with new people coming on or just keep the keep it rolling? We can do whatever we want. So when, when you listen, you can figure it out. All right, so we got my man, the one and only. Kyle Keenan Keenan is key. Come on, kid. Come on up here. One clap from the from the audience. And this is ex roommate. Two claps. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the pod. Yeah, yeah. The people know you, but introduce yeah, yourself we, anyway. What's up, guys? My name's Kyle Keenan. Keenan is key. There it is. I was, waiting for it. <laughs> I was like, there's no way he says it and doesn't say it. <laughs> All right, take take over with. What's, with how's life been? Oh, uh, it's been pretty eventful. Yeah. I'm pretty, <laughs> 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 pretty eventful. Tell me, yeah. tell me. Uh, <laughs> can't talk about it yet. Can we talk about it next episode if tomorrow <laughs> goes good? <laughs> okay. uh, how about we have this house? Now you have this house that we right. are recording in right now. Right. So why are we here and not in the old apartment? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. So you know the answer to it. Oh, uh, no, this place. Uh, so we've been working on this place for a year. Basically, every time I've had to miss pickup over the past year, it's because we were here painting it, trim, ceilings, lighting, whatever the fuck is here. We were doing it. The kitchen. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. But uh, <laughs> um, that's what we've been doing. So basically, while we were filming over there at my old place, I've been working on this place. And now it's done. So now I'm in here. I'm happy to be back in Ben Salem. Like... Two blocks from Jake Motter's head, um, and Very right cool. behind my uncle's house. So it's really cool. How many people you think know that you and Jake are like childhood buddies? Probably nobody. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, obviously you guys do, but like I don't think anybody would really know. I don't think we're like. How far back does it go? What grade? First grade. I was at his house. Wow. Yeah. How did it yeah. start? Um, in school, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you don't remember your first interaction with each other? Now, do you remember? Dang, dang, nah. dang! It's just that real. Just happened naturally. Yeah, Jake. Oh, it stopped just for no, four years. Just no. He's always been that annoying. Okay, <laughs> that. that's good to know. <laughs> Since this isn't new, little, Jake. No, no. So you said four. I heard from Jake in the background. Four years of a, a hiatus of a friendship with you guys. It's appropriate for the pop. No, you don't think it's appropriate. No, 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 not that, not that. You had a hiatus of friendship before that. Oh, basically, oh, yeah, it's give... not that crazy. When we were like young. His dad pelted me in the face with a football, <laughs> and I like started crying, and I didn't come back for like four years. Wow, for another four years. He hit you with a spiral that you just didn't catch, right? Or yeah, he... yeah. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because that the way you put it, man, it seemed like he's like, so, here's that I fucking that. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> so his Go dad deep. did something. So you Go punished deep. Jake. No, I just didn't come back. You just didn't like, want to oh, you were scared. Place. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. That's wild, bro. Dang. So, uh, spike ball let's wise. Go, yeah, let's go spike. Yeah. Where's your next tourney? Uh, Chattanooga. Wait, Who? um, Robbinsville next weekend for the individual tourney, right? At a boy. Um, but then after that, like the real tourney is Chattanooga with um Andrew Manfredi. Ooh. What do you mean real tourney? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Uh, yeah. Um. One that I can get from here. In. Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> um, <laughs> and you're, you bagged Andrew Manfredi for that one. Yeah. That's a good team. Did you guys play together? How many times did you play together in Orlando? Not many. Like, like, like less than five. Yeah, definitely. Uh, maybe like two or three times. We did have the most important game of the day, which is the game that won the, won the B bracket, but it, it made it, we mm -hmm. won the B bracket because yep. of that. Yep. Um, very skilled player, very consistent. 
almost I like take it as it is a contender Zach Vance. Yep, Very just from super. Used to be used to play a lot, and now he's like back into it. Ooh, okay. I like that comp. What's yeah. the team name for you guys? I don't know yet. Wait, that's a weird team. That, name. Yeah, interesting team name. I, I don't. I don't know yet. I don't remember, honestly. The Rizzlers. Oh, is that, that it? Rizzlers. Oh, okay. Rizzlers? Yeah. Maybe we work on it a bit. Yeah, maybe bad, it's a bad name. You usually have fire team names, yeah. bro. Yeah. But but th- back to the drawing board on that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you do you, you do you, bro. It's not going to be about the team name. It's just going to be about you guys. And I think you guys will be a defense first team. A lot of touches, a lot of conversions, and your highlight reel should be sick. Are you going to record? Yeah, I, I am. Yeah. You better. I Let's wanna... freaking go. Yeah. Uh, do you need a tripod? I got an extra one. Uh, I do need a tripod. I got an extra Here we go. One. Come on. Uh, Pieces just are going together. In my house now. Um, so. Puzzle pieces all fitting together. Mike Garrett would love this interaction going on right now. Just saying. <laughs> Why? Because of the puzzle? Because the puzzle pieces fitting together so nicely. That it's is a little OCD. So, OCD, that's it. Yeah. What's the best spike ball play you've ever made? Ooh. Damn. I'm about a cake. Lucas is serve. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the best one on camera. I mean, Get I big I with me. Get I don't big love with anything me. on camera, honestly. Um, I don't know. Like, I... I have nothing specific in mind. That's one reason I want to record is to get some good plays. Me and Jay have definitely made some crazy plays together. Yes. That tourney, whatever the best play was from that tourney was probably the best play we've had. Yeah, you were diving. I've never even seen you fully lay out for a ball. You were diving yeah, all I'm over. Like, yeah, now I dive. Like yeah. Me and Jake drill, and I dive at least a couple times every time. It's awesome. <laughs> you dive with your hit now, too? You, yeah. You're a different oh, yeah? breed now. Yeah, it's fun. That's Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Come on, Kyle. Yeah. How do you feel about diving on turf, though? You think it's going to change your... your... Ooh, I mean... When you dive that first time, and then you get a turf burn, it makes you second second guess second it. guess yeah. it. Just don't do the knee pads, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do pants. Coming from yeah. a temporary knee cap, knee pads kid. Yeah, I wear them when I get injured. Then I take them back off because I'm just like, I look like a, I look like a cupcake. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I am excited though for April twentieth. What's that? Um, the, the NJR mixer. mixer. The mixer. Me and Jager running it. Ooh, Ooh. you I guys mean, could win. Th- I mean, we definitely could win. There's also going to be like, I'm sure you're going to play with Anthony if you want to play. Um, like, I'm, there's going to be a lot of crazy. Vance is playing with Ant. Oh, okay. All right, same thing. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, whoa. No, no, oh, same, okay. same thing. Yeah, I take it back. Easy one. Anthony, of course. Yeah. But like, there's, it's going to be a battle, really. Mm-hmm. I mean, crazy like, how Jumbo Shrimp wasn't mentioned there. Just I didn't wild. think that was crazy at all. Just yeah. wait. Just wait till me and uh, Lorna beat I mean, Jake like, and Kyle. Like there could be a lot of potential. I mean, if you're not playing, I just don't do good in those tourneys that aren't your traditional tourneys. Oh. I don't. I. Uh, All right. You don't want to come out and have some fun. I'd right? rather just yeah. So this farm stand has the best pie you'll ever have, bro. I, could you bring me back a piece? <laughs> you can come grab one yourself when you're there. It's just like Kyle, you know. So you know how you had to take those weekends off when we were grinding and yeah. you were doing your thing. Like, so I'm gonna get married soon and everything. It's like when there's not big time tourneys. No, 100%. I got like you got to use your weekends and do like wedding prep and you got to you know do stuff with the lady. It's just like yeah, you know I mean? no, 100 percent. Like especially just uncommitted, scared during those Roundsville tourneys. Or you can yeah. say more committed. <laughs> 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 Depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Well, Kyle. We're gonna get our last uh, our last lad on the pod here. Uh, we need you in for a full episode, especially when St. Thomas, because you, my friend, will be there. You're not an eighty percenter. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a great time. I have more after we finish up this podcast to talk about with St. Thomas, because cool. I want to hear about what exactly you want to do while we're there, because we have a lot of options, um, a lot of evening options as well that could in- involve a little <laughs> bit of uh, some drinks and some shaking. Around some dance moves, Speaking around. <laughs> so we'll talk more about that too. Um, but thanks for coming on, Thank bro. You, Josh. Appreciate you. Thank you, bro. Yep. Kyle Keenan Keenan is key. Follow La- him on Instagram. Last but not least, the Foz. The Foz. It sounds like he should be a gangster. Like a 50, yeah, he's the, 50, 50, the our, our latest uh, our latest Lemon Lad edition, aka an Italian mobster. <laughs> Getting old there, buddy, huh? What's up, fellas? What's How up? we doing? What's up, bro? What's going on? Um, so, spike-wise, um, we haven't talked in a little bit. Talk to us a little bit about your uh, your Premier Spike sponsorship, bro. Um, talk, just keep this mic close-ish. Closer. Okay. Yeah, thank you, bro. Premier Spike. I wasn't expecting it. Um, I remember when Jake like put like a comment in, 
Instagram, like, sponsor this kid. Our Jake? I think so. It was Jake or somebody. And I commented back. I was like, got to get Premiere first. And then Premiere Spike commented on top of that. And they're like, you know, just put an app in. Damn. Oh, wow. And then in that moment, I was like, all right. Just went straight to Safari and just started filling it out. There you go. But, can you do me a favor and just hold the mic more in front of your mouth? Okay. Yeah. Yep. So when you filled it out and you have back and forth like with with Sanford, how much of his uh, is your premier sponsorship you really loving the premier spike set, and how much of it is you just kind of thinking <laughs> that Sanford is like a badass Ugh. dude? Um, little of both. Okay. But I was repping and you know standing by the the, the spike premier spike set like before I even knew Sanford, and. You know, once we came in, like, communication, like, it's just, like, even better. Because he's an awesome dude. And, you know, to put a face behind the brand, it's just, like, makes it all more uh, fulfilling for me to, you know, kind of be, like, a frontliner for a product. Absolutely. And so, basically, you're you're a good candidate because you were repping and posting on your social media about Premier Spike and on the Discord prior to any sort of uh throwing spike ball nets at yeah. walls. Yeah, what's your what's your handle for your uh your uh Instagram page? Um Faz Roundnet. F A Z is it underscore roundnet? Underscore, yeah. F A Z underscore roundnet. Um you see some great uh Premier Spike content and it's just some funny reels. Some funny reels. Yeah, you're getting pretty good with the reels though. Yeah, I'm getting there. I I'd rush it. Like between like taking the videos and making the video, yeah, probably twenty minutes. Gotcha. Wow. So. We turn around. He yeah, films is, and he yeah. posts. Yeah, you po you get you pop them out quick, bro. Yeah, sometimes double posts. I know that's frowned upon, but but uh, that's just your style. Gotta do it. Gotta yeah. do it. And you know, I want to talk about Discord for a second. Right, let's go. Here we go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like sometimes <laughs> sometimes when you like say opinion, you know, me I can get adamant, and especially behind a keyboard, like you can keyboard warrior. Yeah, you can kind of, like, get ahead of yourself and, like, not think about other people's, like, opinions or feelings. So, I want to take this time to apologize to absolutely nobody. Because <laughs> <laughs> I run this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not, I'm just kidding. That's awesome. That's you hilarious, <laughs> bro. Hey, you're dead ass. Yeah, you got some, some good... Uh, some good action in the Discord, just talking about stuff. But it's people don't know that's like actually how you like you feel about things and how you talk outside of the game too. Yeah. So that's what it's nice because every time I see you on there like chatting it up with others, I'm like, that's, I've I've heard that like that discourse before. Yeah. You know? and I've heard you tell me that same uh, your opinion on this or that, and I, so I've heard it. So um, some people have said it just seems to be like you're just on there trying to like poke the bear a little bit, but it's really just kind of like how you feel. Yeah. I mean, most of the time it's kind of just like. Just messing around, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm not... Like, if you ever read something and it's like, oh, this guy's being serious, I'm never that serious. You know? Right. It's not like you're up, you're upset yeah, or not, you're really, like, fired up. Get in arguments or nothing, but... Right. All right, let's switch Let's switch it over to RoundNet. What, what's your next tournament and where are you headed? Um, going to uh, chat. Beautiful. Playing with? My buddy, James Halpin. Okay. Um, hopefully this time. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, he, he got sick on the last tournament, but... Um, he was texting me today. He feels better. And he good. It's good. Even more motivated for this tournament. So You guys going to get together, you think? Maybe drill a time or two? Yeah, 100%. Good. Um, he good. runs rowing around that. Yep. So he invites me to the practices. So Beautiful. We're going to go out there and get some reps in. Beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you're going to stay out there for a few weeks, too, afterwards. And then you're going to be in St. Thomas with us. Or where are you at? You somewhere between a Brandon eighty and a Kyle hundred, or where are you at? Uh, I'm one hundred and twenty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm there. Nice. Nice. After the pod, we have to talk about, like I said, with Kyle, some options of things where we're going to be, things we can do, some evening festivities, some day trips, um, potential like zip lining. There's tons of shit we got to yep. talk about. So me, me and Kyle made a few plans. We're going to get hammered one night <laughs> explore the city a bit. that's the plan nice yeah. drink nice well we need a tour guide though because there's places in in on the island you can't go so we got to have our tour guide to make sure they put us in the right uh, spot kyle's been in the gym so oh yeah I'm you not, say not yeah kyle I'd does look a little guzzed out <laughs> guzzed out he looks pretty thick no need to cut the mustard but he looks guzzed out yeah cut the mustard that's a new one no, yeah, we've right? been it's through a weird this, one. people. Yeah. Just Google it. Just I did. We Google did it. Google it, and it's a real thing. Okay. People say that apparently. Yeah, like if like if it doesn't like, uh, 
meet the standard. Yeah. You didn't yeah. cut the mustard. Yeah, didn't cut the Kyle's, mustard. Not Kyle. Zach, have you ever heard that? Yeah. You have, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he they hadn't heard it. When, he hadn't where, heard it. Mike times? hadn't heard it. His Discord handle mustard on my feet. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. Don't ask me about it. <laughs> that is weird. That's a good one. Um, but yeah, so we were just doing some brief, some brief hop-ons here. I appreciate you coming on. Like I said, we're gonna record a long stuff with the uh, vlog in St. Thomas, so you'll be back on an episode as um, soon as your season gets going and you have a result that you like to come sit down and give us the contender scoop on what's going on with the season. I, I ask you and whoever you play with to come on and talk. Um, we'll get, you know, more filler episodes. You know, we're not too far from Kyle. So uh, any episode that we're all here for, just just come and show up and, and we'll get you on one as well. Anything in closing here for the Foz? I would say one last quick question. If there was a Saturday, no round net, beautiful day outside, <laughs> And you're sitting at home with nothing to do. What do you do? Um, probably going over to my buddy Josh's house. Maybe <laughs> bet on some horses to lose. There you go. And uh, you know, just hang out. Good vibes. There we go. There we go. Yep. Hang with friends. Can't, is, can't be mad about that at all. Yeah. No. All right. Oh, Pat. dude. Speaking of horses to lose, what's that one bet that you had this year in the playoffs? Oh, Jake, remember you were over. Um, we were. Um, you were yeah. gonna get back like a grand. You just needed the Lions to, yeah, to hold off the 49ers. It was on a parlay. I forget. It was on a parlay, but all you needed was the line. They were up like, what were they up like? Oh, yeah. 17? I, I bet um, the Chiefs will win and yeah. the Lions will win. That's right. That's right. Okay. And we and, just needed the Lions. I had a chance to cash out for like 800 bucks. Yeah. Wow. When they were up like 17 in the yeah. first half. At half. At and halftime. They, they choked. They choked. Yeah. In my mind, it was just like... <laughs> my dad was there. He's like, they're definitely going to win. Don't take the money. <laughs> Fourth quarter, he's like, wow, that's that's crazy. How quick... <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, Pat, Pat was already on the road. I, I'd rather... <laughs> it's wild. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather, you know... Ride it I, out. I like to gamble and go for the rest. Yeah. Know. But yeah, we need a gambling. Uh, we need a gambling episode because I got a couple cool stories too, um, for the listeners. If we ever have a night where we just talk about that. All right. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming on, bro. We'll yes, get sir. you on here. Thank much, you, Matt. much appreciated. <laughs> All right, fans, we want to talk a little bit about Europe. Last but not least, I'll can you hop? I'll go over here. Come over here. here, pop on. Grab the mic, kid. You got the yellow for the mustard on your feet. Now the mustard <laughs> in your hand, baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Europe was sick. I went to a Manchester United game, which is like my dream thing to do. So that was pretty sick. Um, I was supposed to play in a tournament in Denmark, but then my partner bailed, which kind of sucked, but mm. that would have been dope. Um, ended up going to, uh, Wales to go to Wrexham game. Didn't do that though. Cause I got sick halfway through the trip. Wow. So that sucked. Tell them the, uh, the story with the, uh, oh. the driver. Oh, with the, oh, so since I was sick, my family wouldn't, you know, they had to take a taxi to get there, obviously. And, you know, I'm not there. And they're like, hey, do you want to take the ticket? And he was like, I would love to. So then he's just there with them, which was pretty dope. That's uh, hilarious. Actually. Yeah, it's pretty sick. The Manchester United game was also crazy because we did, like, the hospitality thing. So it was like they give you, like, a six-course meal, and then you get free drinks. And there's this group also from the U.S. next to us. And they ended up going to their seats before we did. And they happened to be seated above us. And this girl got way too drunk and just threw up all over our seats, oh. which was awful. So I was, like, hoping, like, oh, they're going to move us down. We're going to be, like, on the field, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, we'll clean it up. I was like, oh, oh great. But I made the most of it. It's pretty sick. Um, beer, like, beer here, when you buy it at, like, a union game, it's, like, 15 bucks. There, it was, like, three. <laughs> so I was wow. just like, oh, this is sick. <laughs> like, way better. What's um, the conversion rate? Like one dollar, one uh, American dollar. It's like one twenty-eight is an American okay. dollar to one euro. Okay. Or one okay. Uh, all. pound, rather. Huh? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, but yeah, and then I uh, ended up going to uh, Paris, uh, Par Disneyland Paris and stuff, oh, which was okay. pretty dope. Uh, they have Disney Studios there. Uh, went on a few rides and stuff. They have like Space Mountain and all that jazz, which is pretty sick. If you go to Disney, you basically know what rides they have. Um, and then like the last leg of the trip, we got to stay in this, like, it's like a, an apartment basically, but like right outside the Eiffel tower. So oh, like wow. you could see it from our hotel room, which was pretty dope. That's wild. Um, it was really sick. We walked around it, you know, like literally walk up to it in like 30 seconds. So it was pretty sick and did like a e-bike tour of, of Paris. So it was a lot of fun, but you know, long trip kind of bummed. I was like feeling really good in spike ball. Now I'm like. Damn, I'm rusty. <laughs> it sucks. Played spike ball with Jake bit. the other day, and 
Got aced like six times by a stupid jam. <laughs> that's, always, like that's always everybody's barometer. <laughs> yeah. It's like if Jake's acing you, you're rusty. <laughs> Damn. He yeah. loves it. It was a good time. Yeah. Looking forward to playing more spike ball and things like that. So excited for what, it. Yeah. Future. What's your, your next tourney you're going to play this weekend or are you TD in? Uh, I'll probably play this weekend. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I obviously need the practice. Can't let down. Hoffman and uh, Chattanooga, so which go. I'm excited for. Um, see how that goes too. I mean, uh, there's a lot of good teams going to chat. There's like Kingdom Comes going. Uh, FM. FM. Mermaid. Uh, Mermaid Sparkle. Num. Num. I think Num's gone. They are. Yeah. <laughs> Not worried about them. Yeah, I wouldn't be. Yeah. Um, pack. Pack's nasty. <laughs> Um, oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Kids nasty too. Uh, nasty. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot of good teams. That's that's gonna be a good competition. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah. listen, we have uh, how many of us are here right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have uh, everyone in a room. We did a special episode here where we're actually filming this in Kyle's place, but it's a special episode where we got to give a little bit of a recap and an update on what's going on with everybody. Um, with the Lemon Lads and everything, we have Zach here uh, on the mic one to show you a little bit about what he's been up to. He's been in Europe. Um, Zach, you sort of have been like thrusted into our life strangely <laughs> enough thrusted. because like, I feel like you were like nowhere <laughs> to be found. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was just like, Vance kid. is definitely going to be here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you were just you were just everywhere that we were in all the best times, and we had uh, have had a ton of fun. Whether it's like New Year's Eve, yeah, it's um, a good time. Yeah, One Piece, obviously grinding, true, spike true. ball. You and I being the best two dot players, on, dot ball players on Dude, the planet. We got to play dot ball again. That game is so fun. Yeah, we were just playing this weekend. Pat and I were playing. Oh, really? Dang. Uh, PFTI, we were, we bro. we uh, we <laughs> opened it up and everything. But basically, bro. We uh, all uh, there's a bunch of lemon lads, a couple people of a couple of us that aren't here right now, mm. um, but we have talked to them um, recently. You know, this week. You know, we're all here now, and basically this this whole podcast and this evening was actually set up <laughs> for you. And we would like to officially, because we love you so damn much, officially welcome you or, or ask you to join us. In <laughs> yeah, this, let me think yeah, about it. let you th join us in this this lemon lad venture. Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. I'm down. Come Thank on, you. dude. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Woo. Much needed, yeah. long awaited. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go that'll ahead. be fun. Take I'm excited. An official I'm probably a little red lemon right now. lad podcast. Yeah, oh, true. Which is yeah. much needed. <laughs> it already feels like you are a lemon. It really does. You it does. It does. Hang out with us. We see you more <laughs> than some of the other lemons. Um, it's just my bi yeah. my biggest thing when I I'll, I'll let you talk too, bro, because I, I do this shit and I just talk too much. But I uh, was when I talked to I told Amanda about this and I talked to some other people about like you know wanting you to be a part of this group pretty quickly soon after we started spending time together. But you're one of those people where once you hang with you, with you for like three four times, I feel like I've been friends with you for like five years. <laughs> I've been friends with you for yeah. like six months. Yeah, it's strange. True. It's very strange. And I think it's because you're a very selfless person and you're more concerned with making sure everyone else is comfortable having a good time and like in a good headspace than yourself sometimes. I appreciate that. I, you're a hell of a dude. I, thank, I love you, brother. You. Yeah, but yeah go you. ahead. It's love yours. Too, man. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of speechless right now. I did not uh, expect that at all, to be honest. No, really? Yeah, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I was like, all right, you know, they're doing their lemon thing. I'm like, I'm just sitting there. Like, That's right, what I, yeah. I was hoping it was going to be a little awkward for me. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, all right, dope. You know, um, <laughs> I was afraid I was going to have to ask you to come over to the couch, but yeah, I'm glad was you awesome. offered yeah. yourself. You jumped it. Um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I feel like I've been friends with you guys for a long time, even though it's been not that long, honestly. Um, Spikeball kind of just brings people together. Or Premier Spike, Pat, wherever you are. <laughs> um, Spikeball's right. So it's kind of sick. I mean, never would I have ever thought that we'd be friends, you know, outside of Spikeball, you know? And what? <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, like, when would we have hung out? You know what I mean? Yeah, that, uh, that, he's right. That's he's right. the crazy part, you know? And I have a lot of friends through Spikeball, but I think you guys are some of the best people I've met. So, uh, you know, it's exciting time to be part of spike ball and i've been playing for eight years so i haven't been more excited before you know so it's pretty sick yeah pretty sick i love it so the final question is is there any chance that we can get you to come to the caribbean 
Oh, I'm down. I'll be down. There it is. There it is. Come on. I was like, damn, I kind of feel a little left out. I know. That's why I wanted to highlight the Caribbean with everybody. So you're over there like, wait oh, a minute. Dude, I can go 100%. What is Brandon talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take his spot. There's room for everybody. There's room I'll for everybody. <laughs> Ruthless, ruthless. But listen, we're going to get to some, some behind the scenes spiked, uh, spiked, uh, lemon lads chatting some talks here and hang, eat some food and just chill and have some fun. This is the Spike Lemonade Pod episode 31. The welcome, the inauguration, the official invite, Zachary Scott. We're out of here. Peace. I think I Come just on. messed up the mic. <laughs> you might have, you might have. Fuck, dude, you want to. <laughs> Bang. Oh, I, I can actually use it. That's like a podcast. It's a podcast. I know. Who was that? Thank you, thank you, man. Hi, everybody. You know, 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 you know,